You know, sometimes um, we make mistakes. This week, we, um, the hauler, made a mistake. We made a mistake with the client. Um, and it's really hard to admit for anybody, um, especially when you're talking about your business. It's hard to admit to a mistake that um, caused some issues, especially whenever it's completely preventable. In our case, it was just a flip of a switch. Instead of creating a uh, storyline each week, uh, we've decided to just document what goes on in here every day. So. Someone's going to be manning a camera every day and getting random conversations, glasses breaking, which is really sad. Oh. <laughs> Dang on it. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if, like, they'll just replace them. Probably not. That's it. Can you see it? And then every, every uh, what do we say, Thursday, we're going to come together and um, decide on the storyline, you know, what, what naturally comes about, and uh, line that out. Have an editor, uh, finalize it, color grade it, post it. So yeah, so we kind of just figure out what, what the storyline is after we've already lived the the moments and then we've documented those and, and then share that in a story. Do you want me to go pick you up some super glue? So the hauler made a mistake, and the mistake was completely preventable. We just forgot to flip a switch. And what we really learned is that mistakes aren't always a bad thing. Um, there was this time when I was younger. Me and my buddies thought it was a good idea to start picking up rocks in a gravel parking lot. Just started throwing rocks. We're like, okay, this sounds fun. Let's pick up rocks and throw them. The parking lot we were throwing rocks in um, had mobile homes for sale. You can already see the mistake we're about to make. I took a throw, one of the other guys took a throw, and then it gets to the third guy. He picks one up, and it was like slow motion. He, he hits the door, and the door wasn't a metal door, it was a glass door. And the glass just completely shattered everywhere. And we were obviously scared to death. We needed to tell somebody someone that had a different perspective um, and own up to it and admit that we were in the wrong. I feel like it's sticking every which way and I've got like an afro and get real weird about my hair. It's crazy how like past experiences come together um, and you learn from them to be able to um, then make wiser decisions. The best thing we, we knew to do was just to meet the problem head on and just call them back and say, hey, look, this happened. We and Here's what we're willing to do to make this right. Um, it took them off guard by, you know, like no one's ever really said that, especially in the business world, you know, like that people are always kind of out to get what's theirs. And um, we truly cared about we're trying to recover the relationship we had with them. So now I think that was respected so much, that position, that now things look good. I mean, things look like we're, you know, we're mending back together. I was telling Kevin, it's like a piece of metal was snapped in half and then it was welded back together. Um, that weld and that bond of those two metal pieces is now stronger than it was before. Don't be scared of those mistakes. They're scary in the moment, but meet them head on and come up with a solution. Thanks for watching the Holler vlog. The Holler exists to bring hope and opportunity back to Appalachia. And so as we're working to rebrand Appalachia from the inside out, uh, we encourage you to stay with us. Uh, this is our first episode, which is pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna continue to work, uh, not just to bring some humor and uh, some idiot moments into your life, but uh, to help you understand how you can make your business, your organization, or your family and friends business more successful through the actions that you take day in and day out. So if there are any topics you guys would love to hear us tackle, just let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like and 
keep in touch with us. Thanks guys, holler at us.